Rebello. Rebello. In the most incredible position perched on a hilltop overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, the charm of Ravello has been attracting writers, artists, musicians and travellers for centuries. And it's pretty easy to see why. The town centre is filled with historic buildings. It was an important trading power from the year 839. Look at the garden. It's beautiful, isn't it? All the different coloured flowers. Yeah. As you walk through the grounds, it's a celebration of all things creative. To name just a few of the greats who found inspiration here, writers Virginia Woolf and D.H. Lawrence and composer Richard Wagner. And these are the gardens and the view where Wagner was inspired to finish his final and one of his most important operas, Parsifal. Ravello is home to many villas dating back to the 11th century. As we're wandering the grounds, we're lucky enough to meet one of the heirs to a villa that belonged to a wealthy noble family. Giorgio takes us to a grotto that is home to Eve, a statue made in the 18th century by Italian sculptor Tadellini that a lord brought back from an auction in the UK in 1910. He said it's... it's almost impossible not to fall in love with this statue because all the, the movements, uh, everything is very gracious, very perfect. Yeah. If you look to the details, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, the movements that she makes. She is bathing, you should uh, imagine she is bathing. And mm -hmm. then a certain moment she notices that some other people are watching her. So she goes like, oh no, it's a kind of yeah. surprise. She is a kind of embarrassed by these people looking at her. It's beautiful. But, and, and then you see the, the quality of the marble as well. Yeah. This is the, the finest Carrara marble that you can get. It's the same marble as Michelangelo worked with, all the the great sculptures worked with this kind of marble. Giorgio invites us back to his villa that his father bought and restored, turning it into a hotel. Inside you can see much of the original furniture that was owned by Lord Grimthorpe, who bought this place in 1904, undertaking a sensitive and important restoration. These frescoes were uncovered from the 16th century. And as we're invited to lunch, it's easy to see why you would come here and simply want to stay. Does life get much better? Is that good? Oh, that's... Amazing. How's blah, that, blah. Peter? Is that good? Good. You can taste the lemons, really. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. Yeah.